Before I begin the video, I want to address that all gameplay footage shown in the video is done in the training room. Being completely truthful, I absolutely could have got footage of all interactions shown against real people. However, that would mean playing the game, saving replays of basic interactions, loading the replay and watching the whole thing until said interaction happens while recording the replay. That would be a very mundane process and just setting AI to replicate whatever situations I would like save me hours of time. I use the training mod pack by Jugia on GitHub in order to accomplish this. Multiple other mods are shown in the video and links and credits to creators will be in the description. In competitive Smash Bros, Piranha Plant is a character often considered by many to be low tier. This means it is not very good and may be said to be unviable in competitive play at the top level. What makes people perceive the potted plant as so bad? There is one main reason. By far the largest misconception attributed to Piranha Plant that even some plant players themselves have fallen for is that Piranha Plant is a one-button character. That button being the B button. This general concept is what people will point to when saying plant is bad. It is very common for people to say Patui, which is his neutral special, is a very powerful tool and plant has no other good moves. It is said without it, Piranha Plant would be perhaps the worst character in the game since he'd have no advantage day or neutral at all. I see too many times people claim that Pertui is what makes Plant neutral, but all of this could not be further from the truth. Not only is Plant more than just Pertui, but Pertui is actually Plant's worst move in general. Before I go further, I will be using terms such as neutral, advantage, and disadvantage. These are very basic concepts, so you should be familiar with them. If you're not, I recommend familiarizing yourself with them. So you may now be thinking, what makes Pertui bad? He does good damage, is a good advantage tool since it is good at ledge and anti airs and covers multiple options and so on. Meanwhile, surely it's a good neutral tool as it is positive on shield and conditions the opponent not to jump, which makes understanding their approaches easier and thus neutral easier altogether. The spike ball also drops if plant is hit while using it. However, if you genuinely think Badui is a good neutral tool, think again. It is actually the number one way to lose neutral as Piranha Plant, and I am not kidding. The Spike Ball itself has an active hitbox starting on frame 9, which isn't too bad, although slower than Up Tilt, which is Plant's other main anti -air. While the Spike Ball is on screen, it has an active hitbox the entire time. These properties are good, but the problem is that it doesn't occupy much space really at all while it's out. Whilst above Piranha Plant, it threatens the horizontal range very poorly. An opponent on the ground will not be threatened by Pertui at all and get a free punish. This isn't the same kind of problem as whiffing another anti air such as Up Tilt, because it doesn't have nearly as much vulnerability. For one, at least Up Tilt has the ability to hit standing opponents, and it only has 13 frames of lag. Basically, you're committing to a very vulnerable action for a noticeable period of time when using Pertui. Pretty much any move in the game can punish Pertui when spaced, and even if Pertui does trade with an opponent, you're the one going to be taking more damage 99% of the time. The opponent doesn't even have to care about spacing or trading if they remember they can just grab you, and being grabbed can range from a nuisance to devastating. Now, although you can pretty clearly see why Pertui not threatening the horizontal range is a problem, you're probably thinking because it and yes, it's still useful and neutral. Well, not really, since Pertui is admittedly a strong and yet yeah, opponents are going to try to avoid it at all costs. So they're just going to stay grounded. But that would still be the case with all about Pertui. Plant has an up tilt and up smash as well. Up tilt is frame 6, since straight upward is intangible at the head, starts combos and kills. Depending on where you are on the stage, it will kill earlier than Pertui would, and it has more horizontal reach as an anti-air as well. It may do less damage, but in some ways it is superior to Pertui. Then there's Up Smash. Up Smash may have less functionality since all it does is kill, but the kill power on that move is very strong. Due to Up Smash being this scary, opponents won't be approaching you from straight above even while you are in shield. Another important point to make with Up Tilt and Up Smash is their intangibility on their heads. They eat, trade, or breakfast. Any move which does 10% or more can whack Pertui away. This means if an opponent is landing with a particularly strong aerial, or for that matter pretty much any full hop aerial, they can ignore Pertui and hit you for trying to anti air them. And this isn't an issue Up Smash and Up Tilt have, so in some scenarios it actually fails you as an anti air, which other moves won't. In other words, against players who adapt to a matchup, Pertui has no practical functionality in neutral that his other tools can't also provide without such a heavy risk-reward factor attached to them. 
There is one functionality of the 2e I have been largely ignoring up until this point, and that's because it has no place in neutral and that is throwing the 2e. Throwing Patui takes long enough that the opponent can simply react to it, so it's a pretty pointless feature outside of advantage. It is safe on shield, but I would question why an opponent would shield it in the first place. It has the same problems as holding Patui. I originally had a part of the script dedicated to how Patui is overrated and advantage, and its only real use is lead trapping, but to cut a long story short, the angle Patui sends at is easy to live, and I feel that the angles and knockback growth of up air and up tilt make them almost always preferable. So basically, in neutral, Patui gets outclassed by every other move plant has, and outside of dealing good damage, its use and advantage is certainly limited. I've only talked about up tilt and up smash, so let me elaborate on why every other move is better than Patui. I won't mention every move, since that would take a lot of time, but you should understand why Patui is so useless and why Plant should never be using it. It's simply too risky and Plant isn't built around it at all. The idea that Plant relies on Patui in any way is a complete misconception. Let's start with Jab. It is frame 2 and the gentleman sends at a tech chase angle and is safe on shield. It's really good for setting up tech chases or getting the opponent off stage so you can let trap them with Patui and get some good damage. Forward tilt occupies a horizontal space in front of Proud Plant and the hitbox is high enough to catch landings. It doesn't do too much, but it's effective at keeping the opponent out. Use it in combination with other grounded moves like dash attack, the opponent may become conditioned to jump, where you can punish them with Patui for incredible damage. Otherwise, this move can send you off stage for ledge traps where you can use Patui. Down tilt is one of Plant's most underrated moves. It has some in lag, but not too much. Enough that it's fairly safe to whiff, since it threatens some horizontal space. This is an example of good risk reward as opposed to Matui, since it's not too risky to use, but you can get some really good stuff off of it from landing. You can get dash attack, forward air, back air, or up air from down tilt, which makes it an incredible combo starter. Down tilt to up air is especially good for doing damage since you can get a lot of up airs from it and potentially up air into Batui to get some serious damage. Down tilt to dash attack is great at getting the opponent off stage at zero to capitalize off plant lead trapping with Batui at early percents. Down tilt can also start tech chases on platforms which can be excellently covered by Batui for good damage. Down smash hits both in front and behind you and is fairly quick as far as match acts go. You can use it to punish a roll read, a jab block, or you can confirm into it off Batui if Batui rolls off a platform. Neutral Air has two hitboxes which circle plant in all directions while active. It's a slow but decent out of shield option and can confirm into an up tilt, which again, of course, highlights just how superior up tilt is to Batui. From extremely specific positions, you can combo from a neutral air into an up air, which could then combo into Batui for immense damage. In my opinion, up air is secretly Plant's best move. It is intangible at the head, safe on shield, combos, and kills. You can combo it into pretty much anything you desire, notably any aerial, which can lead into confirms. But this includes Batui, which makes it genuinely such an outstanding move. Down throw can combo into any air at all, depending on DR, but generally up air or forward air. Forward air is great for getting opponents off shades, you can lead trap or edge guard with Patui, and up air can combo into Patui. Up special, also known as Piranacopter, is a fantastic recovery tool since it goes so far. Plant's recovery is especially good since you can use Patui to stall in the air so you can get more iframes at ledge as well as reverse edgeguard opponents who try to use the lack of an upward hitbox on Piranacopter. Those are all the moves I will list, just a brief overview on a bunch of plant moves. As you can see, they all do various things and have utilities far above the two. Plant is a character with a very deep neutral and his advantages state and neutral in no way revolve around only one move. Patui is a very clearly bad move. Anyway, happy April Fool's Day, date of the video obviously unrelated to contents of the video, of course, I mean, nothing I said was incorrect, Patui is a bad mutual tool, I never lied, <laughs> you know, so maybe I'll upload another time this year.